Hey guys, Rhett here. What is going on? I have been waiting to do this video for a while now. I am at Joe and Amy's second Section 8 rental property. You might remember uh, this house. If you don't, please re-watch the video in the description below. I came here months and months ago. This was a drug house. And the whole front of this, it had a vault door on the front. It was a disaster. We've done a ton of work here, okay? Uh, all new windows, the entire house was resided. Absolutely everything, you name it, we did it here, okay? Mechanicals, electrical, plumbing, new HVAC systems, new water heater, entire house sided, interior work. Uh, the, the main grunt work, kind of uh, big stuff, has been finished. We're just awaiting on our trim team to come in, trim, uh, get all the trim work done and come in and, and clean everything up and get it ready for, for marketing. So come on in here, I wanna walk you guys through it. So if you remember, it sure didn't look like this the last time. So I hope you, uh, I hope you watch the video below uh, to see what this place looked like. But guys, so all new, uh, new sub floor underneath, all new LVP, of course needs to be cleaned up. Um, but bedroom one, uh, everything in here, guys, is big. Big rooms, big kitchen, big closets, a lot of space. This is going to fly off the rental market. So, really nice size living room in here. We have bedroom number one right here. We have a, a really nice big dining room, which, if you remember when we came in here originally, Everything was really dark, we couldn't see much. But super nice, of course, all new light fixtures throughout the whole house. <clears throat> kitchen, kitchen came out nice as well. I'm, I'm really happy with the kitchen. We have a, a bedroom number two off the back of the kitchen. So you have bedroom number one at the front of the house, bedroom number two at the back of the house, right off of this kitchen right here. We go back into the hallway. That leads out to the living room. And we have bedroom number three. So, bedroom number three, again, good size, really large rooms, very, very inviting for somebody to move into this and, and to take ownership of, of this kind of home. So, it's a five bedroom. It's a five bedroom house, guys. Okay? Um, all new tub, toilet, uh, sink, of course, when you do work, guys, things get dirty. So our trim guys will come in here, clean everything up, and, and we'll have a, a, our cleaners come in and make this place spotless. So we go into bedroom number four, bedroom four right here, another good size bedroom, really, really happy with how this came out. And then off of bedroom four, we have bedroom five. Remember, the ceiling was caving in and the roof was caving in and has a brand new roof and we have a five bedroom house. So overall, a five bedroom house in this area is going to rent for somewhere between 14 and, and, and $1,500, okay? Uh, amazing, amazing. And when you talk about being able to take a home that you can buy for very, very cheap, under $40,000. Naturally, they're going to need work. And when you can put the work into them, get them up on the market fast, and get the most value out of these units, you're maximizing your invested capital on the, on the deal. And the more bedrooms that we can add, and you guys hear me talking about that a lot, the more bedrooms we can add, that's always great, because we can increase revenue. But the home has to have appeal. It has to be painted the right colors. It has to have the right kinds of flooring. Whether you do LVP or whether you do carpet, you have to use the right color schemes. You have to have the, the homes purchased in the right neighborhoods. You have to know what kind of tenant you're attracting. Because with Section 8, it, it's not like you're, you, you have a housing project where there's a list of people and you just, the next person up gets the next unit. That's not what the Housing Choice Voucher Program is. And the Housing Choice Voucher Program, it's a free market. So if I come out with a Section 8 home, single family home, and you do, 
and five other people do, there might be one tenant with that voucher for $1,500. Which unit are they gonna choose? Totally up to them. So you have to make sure that what you're putting into these units makes sense. You have to make sure that it is going to drive what it, it, people are, are gonna get into, right? So you have to understand, guys, there is a lot of competition when you're doing this, and you have to create units that are going to drive demand. The units we put on market, there, there, there needs to be a demand, and you have to create a product that, that drives demand. If you don't, you're just gonna get lost in the shuffle. And that's why it's really important to have the right team by your side, helping you find the right houses in the right markets, on the right streets, in the right neighborhoods, doing the right kinds of rehab that are gonna keep people in the units for a long period of time, but also you take care of the important things to make sure that you cut down on the maintenance. So you don't have a lot of bills over the next two, three, four, five, 10, 15 years. There is a science that goes into this and it's all about having the right team to help you onboard these units successfully to help you grow. If you guys need a team, if you want a team, send me an email in the description below. I'll do it with you. I'll hold your hand through every process. You'll have access to my personal teams who specialize in this kind of investing and we'll go from there. Please, as always, guys, leave your questions and comments. We'll see you next time.